From lap dogs to hounds, dogs share a special relationship with humans. In fact, their mutual attachment makes a man's best friend. While it's well known that dogs provide love and companionship, there's a growing appreciation for the therapeutic benefits that dogs can bring for mental as well as physical health. This is a story of Labradoodle Alfie, and how he helped his owner Hannah rebuild her life after she was diagnosed with brain cancer. I suppose uh, it's that phone call that as a parent you never want to receive. Uh, still remember exactly how it panned out till this day. So 28th of August 2018, I received a call first from Hannah who quickly put on the doctor uh, who announced that she had a brain tumour that needed operating on more or less immediately. Um, I didn't hear much of the conversation after the words brain tumour and operate. Um, so yeah, all a bit of a blur. Uh, surgery just a few days later and then a few days after that we discovered that uh, not only had she had brain tumour but it was a malignant tumour which meant cancer. So uh, the long haul began. After leaving hospital, Hannah underwent six and a half weeks of radiotherapy, followed by chemotherapy. She had to take a year out of university and return to live at home with her parents. We got to Christmas 2018, and of course the question was, what do we buy her as a Christmas present? We went through lots of ideas, but one just kept coming back. The inevitable one, uh, we would buy her a puppy. I mean, Mum and Dad had already, always known that I wanted a puppy um, and it would always been like a sort of joke that every Christmas I'd say I want a puppy and I wouldn't get one. So this was actually like a dream come true but it was just so unexpected. Dogs don't care about age or race, status or looks. Give them attention and care. In return they will offer support and companionship. Today, Therapy dogs are used in a variety of settings, helping those with physical and mental health issues, at home as well as in hospitals. They are also widely used with young people, relieving stress during exam periods, as well as boosting confidence and helping to improve literacy. Inga Powells has been working with therapy dogs in Belgium for the last 10 years. I don't think it's an English word, but I call them the wussy dog. So they are like soft and they, they don't react when you stare at them or, or tick them by their head like this, because normally the dogs don't like when you do this, but they don't care. So they're like more like soft dogs, like they want to please people. That's what we want, to, that's what we want with therapy dogs. The mere act of stroking a dog reduces stress. Research shows that petting a dog increases the body's level of dopamine and oxytocin, neurotransmitters that help relieve anxiety and promote social bonding. Oxytocin is um, a chemical reaction in your brain when you're like breastfeeding your baby and then you bound with your baby, that's oxytocin. So same happens when you, uh, when you have interaction, like facial interaction, like look at the eyes of the, the dog and the dog looks at you and you get the same oxytocin. Caring for a dog reduces depression and encourages positivity. Dogs draw attention to themselves and provide a distraction which relaxes people. And then there's the health benefits of daily walks and play. Um, I remember you know, one really important moment for me was when he finally learned paw, which was, which was just such a lovely moment because it made me feel like I'd been able to teach him something, I'd been able to do something, and that my life was getting back on track. He, he got me excited about the day, you know, what new things could we do? He got me out to the house, which at that time was something I wasn't really doing because I was tired and down. So by making me get out to take him for walks, you know, it was just lovely. 
because I got to see him sniffing around and being a happy little pup, which any entertainment he had and happiness he had transferred onto me. It's just so lovely just to see him leaping to catch a ball or sniffing around or just, you know, enjoying his walk. So I think really that's an important factor is just getting out and being able to see the joy someone else is having. <laughs> when you're, you're sick, cancer or other or illness, doesn't matter, um, your, your cell needs positive energy and dogs can bring positive energy to give their, your, your body an energy boost, I think. So when I first went back to university after my year out of being ill, I went back while I was still on a, on medication. So that was quite a scary time for me, but I was very lucky because Alfie came with me. So he was, it felt like, you know, the, the important path that had kept me going was continuing with me and I didn't, I wasn't going to be alone. I just, I can't tell you how Alfie has exceeded all our expectations. Um, I mean, you could just say he's just a dog, right? But he's so much more than that. Uh, the bond between him and Hannah is just extraordinary. I mean, from the very first moment she saw him, um, that bond was formed and it's just lasted ever since. Uh, he follows her everywhere. He reads her moods, he climbs next to her as she looks down quietly, not without any fuss, just pulls himself up next to her, lies on her knee um, and just provides this incredible comfort. It's, it's just extraordinary. Looking back, that decision uh, to buy Hannah a dog for Christmas was the best decision we could ever have made. Um, of course, it's you can't rewrite history, right, and know how she'd have coped without, without him. But having Alfie just made everything so much better. It, it really was life-changing. 